Hey everybody, welcome back. We're still trying to crack open the meta here. We're on free to play already. Look, is an easy start, okay? Ideal get another cricket, S tier. Fish would be okay. Ant would be okay. Horse would be okay. Mosquito would be okay. Look at this. Look at this. Many people are saying this now. You take a mosquito, a mosquito in the hand is worth two in the bush. Will be the offensive ice cubes, also known as rapper ice cube. <laughs> I didn't say bad, just offensive, okay? Look at this. I mean, this is three ants is just kind of like, that's a team built for the future. It's not built for the current climate. We accept this. You know what? I think we unfreeze. We get rather bullish. Mm, I'll take one of these, believe it or not. And then, I think we want you at the front. I think we give a cricket some honey. Is my, why not a mosquito? I don't know. Well, I thought we would have a good chance to get either a cricket or a horse on the reroll. Unfortunately, uh, you want to make God laugh. Tell him your plans. Either way, we still get two wins. Hey, it's not me. It's the shop. You get horses and crickets like that, of course you're going to pop off. Like, it's a gimme. You knew it was going to happen at some point. This is kind of an insane get. I will absolutely take an ox. The problem is we don't really have much to do with our remaining three gold. Um, one thing you could do is save this to possibly create a crab next turn. But on the other hand, I don't really want to create a crab next turn. If we could just get an otter pumping instead. I mean, like, uh, crab probably is better long term, but I really, I mean, otter is a scaling unit. I've, I've reworked my entire mindset to be about scaling now, and otter scales. We win these. I mean, otter scales other units, I should, but it's a scaler, man. It's a scaler. Never forget it. Feed me. That's I, not a problem. Feed me. Feed me. Speaking of scalers. No swan yet, though. Have you noticed? We have no swan. Next turn, though. You know what we get next turn? A chance. A chance to get salads. Many people are saying this. We're going to win this one. The ox is honestly too good. <laughs> but now that we're on the line, I mean, we got to try to keep the perfection rolling as long as possible, for sure. For sure. So, I don't love any of these, unfortunately. We're really looking for stuff like salads. Salad is great stuff. That's great stuff. I'll be straight up with you. If the cricket's hanging out for a bit, why doesn't the cricket take a little bit of a boost there? Because we're, we're really on this line right now where I'm genuinely... We might run into some trouble here, admittedly. Um, but I'm looking at this as if we have the chance to possibly pursue a perfect game. If you, if you push your chips all in when you got pocket aces, okay? That's where we're at right now. I, I would be a coward to not take the approach. Now, is there anything here we prefer? Not really. Still, I think you get sold. I have faith that we're going to get a more useful animal for this spot. And immediately, that is what has happened. Give me a salad first. Then we're going to take a turtle. I know the turtle is going to get rid of the honey. I'm okay with that for the effect of the melon armor. We're going to be looking for a pill. I think it's if you're all in, it's a little late for a swan. I'm totally ready to either, like, you know, crush it or wither on the vine. Both are acceptable outcomes for me. And it's going pretty well. That's six already. The believers would be getting paid out. You run the risk, but you got to try. It didn't hit our turtle. That's wonderful news. Don't really care for any of this. We're looking for a pill, really. A pear is fine. Um, I think you could consider selling a horse, honestly, to fit a hippo, but I have to remember, how are you going to kill a turtle? I mean, pill, pill a turtle. How are you going to pill a turtle in a situation like this? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, hold on. We got genuine problems? Or do we? No, not really. Thanks for not being a sheep. That's seven wins. Um, how are we going to pill a turtle, though, if we can't get a pill? It's a great question. It's a bold question. It's something to think about. Um, still no pill. I mean, the turtle is still providing melon armor. It's just doing so inefficiently. Even if we wait for a second... my Oh, no, you're not a rhino. You're a rhino. 
even if we have to wait a little bit, I'm not sweating it all that much. Because at level 5, we really start to get those good efficient units, like a scorpion, for example. Which would just be a great fit for after we pill our turtle. So freeze this. You're, you're a real piece right now. You're being a real piece. We could add like a level 7 turtle by now. I think we got to roll for pills. I don't even want the chocolate. That's how twisted I am right here. I, I just want a pill. There we go. I got to be honest with you. As much as I want the flawless, cooler heads prevail. This is probably the round we have the best chance to lose since, you know, like round two. My horse. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. Oh, we draw. Okay. <laughs> we draw. Get pilled. I know you're like, do it in front of the ox. I promise you, it's not the right play here. The right play is you get this scorpion out here. By the way, when I say I promise, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, hit it. Bro, you got to sell a rabbit now. And roll a fly. It's... I don't have, like... I, I don't know what I'm doing. I never take a fly, but I feel like this works. And it's I, I, this is going to do an amazing job of killing their melon armor. Like, it's not even the horse synergy. It's actually just the anti-melon armor synergy that's, like, getting this done for me here. It ended up being a fantastic decision. I'm thinking, like, this is a level I've never been on before. Honestly, this one goes out to uh, Suboptimal in Mouth's chat, where... I had four 50-50s in a versus round and thought there was a 0% chance I would lose, and then I lost. How did I lose? They had a fly. Even my five melon armors didn't do anything against, you know, all the flies that came out. Okay, note to self. One up on a, on a scorpion. Not so good when you got a fly. Just a little note to self on that one. Wait, did we just 10 win it anyway? All right, big whoop. All right, that's one of the best rounds we've had in a while. It honestly just comes down to, like, we got the most amazing early game shops. We pushed our chips all in. That's all you need to know. Give me one mosquito. We're going to have a, a bug sandwich here with fish bread. Be the salty streamers. Desperate Husband is kind of a great name. It's like when they, they already rebooted How I Met Your Mother to be How I Met Your Father, being absolutely eviscerated by the critics right now. Probably deservedly so, I have to guess. Just let the nostalgia exist. You don't have to bring it back, man. It's getting a little much. Roll me. Sure, I'll take it. And you know what? Give me some stats, man. Give me some stats. Um, they got to reboot the Desperate Housewives. The Desperate House Husbands. Coming this fall on ABC, perhaps. Many people are saying this. We draw these. I'll take that. Honestly, like, I, I know you... Like, well, maybe you wouldn't. But... It, it's, it would be easy for me to give myself so much credit and say, like, oh, I'm having the most, like, amazing game of my life. I really don't believe that that's necessarily what's happening here. I certainly believe that what's actually happening here is I'm just getting the greatest shops you could ever ask for in the early game and allowing that early momentum to carry me into the late game. Like, strong oxes are just, like... It's really annoying. It's probably the earliest way you can get melon armor unless you... I mean, well, obviously, if you got a turtle directly, it would be a different story, but... Let's keep the fish rolling here. I think that was worth the four gold, honestly. Crab? Eh, I sleep. Swan? I wake. Oh, yes. I wake. <laughs> I don't think we're pilling anything else in front of our ox. Never underestimate the power of an early giraffe, but simultaneously, never overestimate the mediocrity of a late giraffe. Like, this is... I, I'm being serious. I deserve very little credit. Maybe that fly play in the last one was kind of sick, I'll admit, but I think I deserve very little credit. The real credit belongs to the shops. So I'm going to make a strange pivot. I'm going to sell our mosquito. We're going to roll a kangaroo. We're going to buff it so it doesn't die to a simple um, hedgehog. A turtle. I hate to say it. You got to pivot off the giraffe for a second. You got to drop this son of a gun in there. This is a just in case freeze me. You freeze the giraffe because we actually, believe it or not, we want to bring him back. 
I know how this looks, but now you pill the turtle, you got an acceptable fish, we bring the giraffe back behind the kangaroo, and all of a sudden, who says no? Who says no, man? Okay, their own ox scares me, but hold on, we're kind of pogging. Sorry for party rocking. That's four wins, one draw. It's a beautiful thing, man. Pill me, even though you're not the best unit. God, a rabbit would really hit the spot here. You know, I'm dancing with the one that brought me. <laughs> kind of, <laughs> I guess in a way. <laughs> you got to be careful about a, a jacked kangaroo, but you know, oh, a microbe. That's the earliest microbe I've ever seen in my life. But actually, the, the ox is kind of an insane microbe counter because it, its melon armor comes from within, which is really inspiring when you think about it. So we're, we're cruising still. Um... I'm going to be legitimate with you. We basically, by selling a giraffe for a penguin, we basically just give a buff to two units instead of one. Let's make our ox that much better because they also pass the buff to our kangaroo. I will freeze that. I will do this, though. So more than anything else, we want to see... I would say two swans is probably the dream. If we can get two swans, we're, we're feeling pretty nice. Everything's getting buffed by our penguin, and we're, we're well on our way to putting down a, an impressive performance. Um, I think in this situation, you do have to upgrade your ox. There's no chocolate. Forget the fish. The fish is already getting buffed. You have to try to upgrade your ox. So we see one swan. We'll buy one. I don't mind keeping two pairs frozen. I'll keep you frozen as a just-in-case, but... We're also making sure, we're, we're spreading the buffs out a little bit for now because we're kind of like, we're riding the casino line right now. We don't know exactly what we want, but we, we feel like we'll know it when we see it. I'm a little lucky with the way this math worked out, but look at that. That'll take us to seven. You got pears, you gotta eat them, man. You gotta eat them. Just go ahead. Ox or swan or chocolate. We're gonna... Swan up first. We're going to Penguin up for sure. And I think you just keep rolling this team. I, I At this point, we're basically pushed all in yet again. <laughs> I don't see much reason to deviate from our current strategy. Not that we're guaranteed to win, uh, you know, 10. We're looking really good, don't get me wrong. But it's, uh, it's more like I think we lose so much by pivoting. You got to be a little careful. So I think we definitely like that. We still definitely like this. At that point, we might as well just commit there. I'd still like the penguin to go one level up for sure. It's the strength of the melon armor, honestly. Like, our fish is kind of unimpressive, but it doesn't matter that much that it's unimpressive when, uh, you know, it's able to hit at least two times in the early game. And in the late game, it would, pro it would probably get one tapped, but we may not have to play in the late game. So, who cares? <laughs> evil laughter uh, rises. The evil laughter rises. Okay. Well, now we got a level 2 penguin and a squad full of level 2s or 3s. It'd be a great time to have a skunk. I gotta admit, you kind of got me on this one, but I think our kangaroo's gonna do it, man. I think our kangaroo's gonna do it. <sighs> wow, such a hard game. I gotta go to the Hall of Fame for a second here. We, we just went back to back, no losses. Admittedly, not flawless, but no losses. This is the power of an early game shop. Now this shop is somewhat less impressive. I'm gonna try something here. Let me get the moody eyes, it's perfect. I'm not putting any evil on myself, like will we get you know 10 wins in every run? I'm, I'm happy to be where we are. Um, I'm happy to be in a position where losing in round one actually feels like, like, hey, what the heck? Like, what, what did I do to deserve this? No, I'm going to give you, like, some meat later. So, I'm feeling, on free-to-play, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I, what the heck? I'm feeling like I understand the assignment. 12 times NL understood the assignment. Give me a draw on that one. No sweat, no sweat. 
combine me. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Rest assured, I'm gonna do it. So we have to buy two animals here? That's no problem. Because I pill you. Piece of crap. You give me a double charge no matter what. And whatever you buff, I'm okay with it as long as it's not the cricket. Beautiful. This is still a very strong team. I'm kind of stunned we're at zero uh, wins so far. Um, well, that's not what you want to see. This is not the animal you want to see at the front of the enemy lines. But at least we've, we've taken them out. Oh, you piece. That one hurt. That Honestly, I just got red. That's an incredible blowfish. You can't be mad. I would say straight up. One gold for two attack. I can live with it. And then let's just stick a spider up there for a second. It's not my ideal animal, but it's something. I think a fish at the front could get some work done. Ooh. Okay. I, I know that this looks spotty, but I'm telling you just on a stat level, this team is okay. Maybe even better than okay. We're double dromedary. Is this the rare, like, we, we got a Bacta in the wild? Now we're back. Now we win. It's, you gotta be, we need to scale better into the late game now, though. Because we're not any longer, you know, gonna finish by round 11. We gotta figure out how we're gonna get a little further. So I think you can stick with a Mosquito or a Cricket. We're gonna take the Mosquito because it's further along. Um... I genuinely think a spider is at, like, its best efficiency at level one. I might be wrong about that, but I feel like almost any time... I love this, man. I love this. Almost any time I take, like, a level two spider, it spits out, like, you know, level two uh, snails. And I'm like, why do I even care about this at all? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I feel like the spider, it's almost good to keep it around as fodder. So given the optics of our team right now, I would say it's fairly important to win now. So I think you... I think you can pill your Mosquito, even though it's an 8-7. I like the double charge we're getting from the, the Spider here. We can add a Buffalo onto the squad. Now, previously, I have said some things I regret in my life, like Buffalo is the most boring animal in the game. It is. Um, well, it is boring, at least. Whether you consider it the most boring animal in the game is a bit of a value judgment, I suppose. I'm not in a position of, you know, policing your enjoyment of Super Auto Pets, but, like, monkey bison in arena is basically like, you know, oh, sorry for having fun. So I'm basically doing this because, for me right now, Having fun means less than winning. <laughs> but only because we've already won so much that to have it dip now, I mean, it feels like it, uh, it would hurt that much more, believe it or not. We got to figure out, like, I, I think a skunk would be beautiful. I'm going to freeze it while I think about it. Do you think it would be okay to get rid of our kangaroo for a skunk? I think the answer is yes. This is totally fine. A kangaroo is good and has worked well for us in like our last round, but I think a skunk is just, it's just that much better. Like, it's that much more useful across a wider variety of situations. Let's put it that way. Oh, you shouldn't have. Okay, now with two extra gold per turn, um, what are we looking for? Chocolate to level up our, our bison would be pretty top tier. But we're looking okay. Chocolate for skunks, chocolate for bison. Or just more bison, I guess, would be fine. Um, I would like to fit a turtle, but it's very hard. I think we might have to wait for, like, bespoke melon armor. Freeze it. If you see a swan and a pill, you could theoretically make it work. Okay, I'm not buying you. I'm not buying you. You're, at this point, you've, you've served your purpose. I will buy you. I actually think that's more important. I think that decision will surprise many. Why don't you take some garlic for now? Maybe the garlic will, will allow us to coast for a bit. I think it's way more important that we get a skunk to counter enemy scaling. Then we get... Oh, we draw these. Then uh, a buffalo to scale ourselves. Or a bison, sorry. Sorry, a bison, sorry. 
I know we could have a level three swan, but I think that's more important for our, our prospects. Getting the level two skunk. No. Yes, we will. I still like the fish in the front. Because it's 9, 10. I'm not that impressed. And we're getting, like, uh, like even if it gets scorpioned, I'm not that upset, I guess. Good time for garlic, though. Holy cow. Kind of, at least. <laughs> we still might lose this. This is a strong horse-dog combo. Yeah, I think we definitely lose. That's a strong team, but they're at, like, the peak of their power, and I'm just getting started. We're not even on lethal yet. Feed me. Three extra gold per turn. Plenty of room for chocolate. Plenty of room for pears. I'm just... Plenty of room for melons, but nobody really deserves a melon here except perhaps you. I don't know. I This team right now, I do find it hard. Well, we're going to be on lethal. I find it hard to see 10 wins in our future. But I also feel like the team is quite good. We don't need your melon, man. We need buffalo. We need... Buffalo. I appreciate that. And by buffalo, I mean bison, of course. Don't insult me. For now, guess what? I'm pinning my hopes and dreams on a melon armor swan. I don't know why it sounds like a, a Tony Bennett song. <laughs> don't take me out. I'm not ready to go. I barely got started, man. Hold on. Not pogging. Not pogging. Not pogging! Okay. But still. It was a great episode until things went terribly wrong. <laughs> for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps it a great deal. We're going to try to replicate some of that success on pay to win next time. I'll see you then. See you.